on this song is that you got to play this with an attitude a bad one play it with bad intention doesn't matter even if you miss a couple notes the intention is what makes this song the way that it is it's just a nasty sounding song and this guy Billy Gibbons is a master of this so get nasty get a nasty look on your face and just go for it all the way. Grab a hold of the strings and just hang on to them. And that's that's part of the key to this is you just gotta really play it with a lot of attitude. Now, um, Guitar Joe has done a the next song on this album off the Trace Ombres album is Jesus Just Left Chicago and Guitar Joe has already done that and so this song leads into it and then I highly recommend that you go right into his uh, version of that because it's a great lesson um, right after the song. Getting back to this um, Guitar Joe made a comment that this guy Billy Gibbons was a master of putting in rhythm tracks and overdubbing and he absolutely is so as I go through this part right here there's actually two guitars doing this and one of them does several different things in there and then one of them does the same thing all the time the guitar that you hear the most in the mix is basically doing this lick There's a couple of variations of that. One time he does... Another time he does... That's where you hit the A string. So it goes like this. And those notes are... going on there's another guitar underneath it going like this that's that's the D string and then the G string twice on the same fret on the fifth fret to the recording, the original recording of it, you'll hear both of those guitars on there, but he has a mixed so that you can't separate them and hear what the right one is doing and the left one. He's got them mixed in with each other in a way that you can't just separate one and find out what that guy is doing and then go to the other one. So just be aware that it's in there. This is actually almost a two guitar song because of that. When it goes down to the next part, both of the guitars do the same thing and that part is and it goes right back into this from time to time you'll hear the A string out loud just droning during this part because he he hits it once in a while, so you'd be like, so just remember to keep that attitude and and keep these, keep that part just going strong. That top guitar and the guy on the bottom just. guy 
is playing the main part is Alright, the turnaround goes first open E and pull down on the G then it's an E note on the fourth string and all the way down here third fret second string that's one of those attitude things too and then this is a little chord we're gonna go up to the fifth fret bar those bar the fifth fret on the fifth fourth and third string put your third finger on the seventh fret on the fourth string so this chord goes this is fourth string fifth fret fourth string second fret fifth string third fret so that whole little turnaround goes you slide back up and you're back on this lick again it goes through that twice, There's then the second verse. And after the second verse, it goes into the turnaround again. But instead of going back to another verse, it does this. Again, that's... Double bar chords there, and you hit the A in the middle of it, the A string in the middle of it. So it's a there's kind of like a little chunk in there too. So good. Okay. 